Hello and welcome. This short video will help you get the best from the BT Cloud Voice Communicator app when used on your computer. We'll take you through the essential tools available and the benefits to your business. BT Cloud Voice Communicator is an app that sits on your desktop screen. It works with both Windows and Mac, and you can use it to make and receive calls, view your call history, access your contacts, chat with colleagues, and control frequently used features. It's your gateway to better communications. If you don't have the app on your desktop yet, go to the Applications tab on the BT Cloud Voice portal and click Download. Once installed, it should start automatically when you log in. But if it doesn't, you can launch the app by double-clicking on the BT Cloud Voice Communicator shortcut. The first thing you'll see is a login screen. You'll need to enter your username and application password in the boxes here. If you haven't already set your application password, you can do this on the My Account tab on the BT Cloud Voice portal. You can choose whether you want your password remembered when you open the app and whether you want the app to start automatically when you log on to your computer. Once you've done this, just click Sign In to open the app. When BT Cloud Voice Communicator opens, you'll see your contacts list with any group contacts at the top. If it's the first time you've used the app, your list will be empty. In this and in other menu screens, click on an entry to send them an instant message, call them from the app or your phone, or start a video call. You can do this by right-clicking on the entry as well. You'll have the extra option of sending an email if you have Outlook installed. Instant messages will come up in their chat window and you'll be able to see their reply in yours, giving you a fast and efficient way to communicate. In your contacts list, right-clicking on a contact lets you set them as a favourite, marked with a yellow star. You can also add or remove them from a group, view and edit their profile, or remove them from your contacts. You can filter contacts in two ways to narrow down any searches that you're doing. Use the search field to search by contact name. The results appear in real time as you type or use the filter icon in the top bar to find specific types of contacts, such as favorites, conference contacts, or online contacts. The plus symbol is where you can add both internal and external contacts and their details. We'll talk more about the ways of adding contacts later, but for now, let's look at the other icons you can see around the edges of the screen. If you click on the flag, it takes you to My Status, where you can view and update your presence and profile image. Double-click on the profile image to upload a new picture. Select a flag in one of the colour codes so your contacts can see your availability. Green means you're online and available for communication. Yellow tells your contacts that you're online but haven't used your computer for more than 10 minutes. Red means you're busy and don't want to be disturbed. And grey says that you're offline, so contacts will need to call or chat with you instead. If you have Outlook integrated, then the app will pick up if you're in a meeting and show your presence as a red flag with an Outlook calendar. Having all this information visible makes it much easier for people to work together efficiently. Your location is automatically set. However, you can also put your location in and set your time zone manually. You can also update a personal message that people see. For example, it's a beautiful day or I'm working from home today. So somebody looking at your status won't waste time trying to find out where you are. The clock icon brings up your call log history for all placed, received and missed calls and chats. As well as the usual calling options, you can double-click on a log entry to call back directly. The call will follow the same format as the log entry. For example, double-click a call entry to call the contact, or double-click a chat entry to open a chat screen and send them an instant message. It's a quick way to get back in touch with the people you've been talking or chatting to. To listen to any new voice messages, click on the voicemail bar at the top of the screen. To view your company's shared database of contacts, click on the directory button. As well as the usual calling options, you can add someone from the directory to your contacts by right-clicking on them and selecting Add Contact. They'll then appear in your contacts list with all their profile details. The dial pad can be used to set up calls. All you have to do is add the number, then decide whether to make the call from your app or your desk phone or start a video call. The Call Options menu in the bottom right-hand corner gives you even more ways to handle your calls. This is where you'll find your preferences and get access to call settings and help. For more information about how to use these settings, go to the BT Cloud Voice Help page mentioned at the end of this video. If it's included in your license, My Room is like a virtual meeting room. It's permanently available, 
and you can invite anyone to join it. As the owner of the room, it's up to you who's invited to chat or to share your desktop with. You'll need to set up My Room on the BT Cloud Voice portal. There's more information about how to set up and use My Room on the BT Cloud Voice help link provided at the end of this video. The BT Cloud Voice Communicator app lets you manage your communications efficiently from your desktop. You'll find more information about how to get the best from the BT Cloud Voice Communicator app, as well as answers to other common questions at bt.com forward slash bt cloud voice help.